Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make different types of roofs in SketchUp. First, I'm going to start with making an open gable roof and to do that, I have this box that I just uh, made by extruding a rectangle. Now what I need to do is I have to go to the lines tool and let me pick this uh, midpoint from this edge and create a line vertical to this blue axis. Now I'm going to be using some random measurements and dimensions but you can take care of that. So if I just click anywhere in this line and join this to this edge or the end, end point of this edge and to the other end point as well. I finish up with this triangle and what I have to do is I have to remove this midpoint like this. Now what I would do next I would extrude this triangle to the back edge like this so next I would offset this face to the outside just like this and uh, remove this edge and at last we just have to extrude this face that we just created to the front and to the back and this is our open gable roof. So next we create a box gable roof that is pretty much similar to the open gable roof but uh, we need to offset this top face from this box at first by the offset tool just like this and what I would do next is I would uh, create a triangle as I did in the earlier case just like this and join this edge to the end point and to the other end point as well remove this mid edge and next to extrude this now here you see I got this offset limited to this many mirrors now what I would do I would just hit on a control key from keypad keypad it's like this and now I can actually extrude this to the back edge like this and I would to our uh, reverse this face now let me just extrude this now here you have two options you can either create some vertical edges from this point to the to this edge or you can just extend this edge like this and to the other side as well like this and remove this edge now here what we do at last is we extrude this out to the both sides to finish this box gable roof. You can also remove these edges at last. So now let's create a hip roof and to do that I will create a triangle over this box like this. and. Uh, the easiest way to make the hip roof is by use of follow me tool. To do that we have to first select this topmost face and this is very important that you do just select on this uh, topmost face and go to the follow me tool and then click on this triangle and this is this will finish off uh, this roof or the box the hip roof. Now let's create a hip and a valley roof for this uh, sort of form that I have made and here what you see is I got the dimensions rather the width dimensions that are 4 meters from this and the same from the back side too 4 meters. Now when I create a rectangle like this as we did earlier and click on this face and go to the follow me tool and click on this rectangle then it automatically creates this uh, hip and valley roof but this scenario differs if we have a different dimensions from one of those sides like here we got uh, 4 meters from here and the dimension from the back side is actually 4.5 meters so if I try and make the hip and valley roof here by just making a triangle first then click on this face again go to the follow me tool and click on this triangle I will end up having a geometry or other faces like this 
Now to finish this roof, I will have to do it manually. I will actually extend this edge like this. And uh, from here as well, I just extend these edges so that they intersect together and raise the extra edges just like this and create a line like that to finish the roof off. And I can also delete these extra edges. So this is how you can actually finish off the hip and the valley roof if you have different dimensions from different sides. Next I'm going to show you how to make a gazebo roof. First I'm going to show you how to make a hexagonal uh, gazebo roof and to do that I can either go to the polygonal tool and make a hexagon here of six sides. When I do this and extrude this I will end up having these edges that I don't want in the roof. So I will rather go by choosing a circle tool and I will actually edit this to have six sides. Here I can actually type in the sides I want to have or the segments in this uh, in this uh, circle to make it into a hexagonal. So if I type in six sides, now I have six sides. So I can create a sort of a hexagon like this and I can extrude this. Let me extrude this to 3.25 meters. Now what I would do is I would create a line from the center to the midpoint of any of these edges and I would actually extend this a little because I want the roof to be overhanging. So I create this uh, vertical line and join this to this end point like this. Now if I just click on this face and go to the follow me tool and then click on this triangle I will end up having this uh, this roof that is hexagonal gazebo roof so this way I can actually create a roof or any type of a shape or a form so if I just go by having five sides like this and extrude this to some extent 3.5 meters I take and create an edge like I did earlier like this and do the same just click on this face go to the follow me tool and click on this triangle and this will finish off this roof with the five sides so next I will create a gambrel roof to do that I will have to make a rectangle over this uh, edge from the midpoint I will start and I will take the inference from this endpoint and create this rectangle like this now my measurements are quite random I will just make a line like this and join this to this endpoint and raise these edges that I don't need now I'll actually copy this face that I just created by the move tool and pushing the control key from keyboard and I will take this outside so I can actually now flip this entire face along the red direction I will do so that this makes a mirror of this like this and I will join this right to this midpoint and I will erase this edge now let's uh, extrude this to the end point so the next part is to offset this to the outside like this and erase these edges and I will extrude this face that I just end up with to the front and to the back to finish off this camphor roof. Now let's make an amended roof and to do that I have to copy this face by the push and pull tool and hitting the control key. It's like this I can take it to any measurement like this and if I just scale it down by the scale tool and press the control key so I will actually scale it right to the center when I drag this in like this 
and this is actually how you can create the uh, mansard roof also this is how an how a mansard roof looks like but uh, we want the amended roof so to finish that i will create a rectangle over this like this and click on this face go to follow me too and then click to this rectangle to finish the amended roof now to make a dutch cable roof i will first have to start by making a mansard roof by actually copying this face by the push up pull tool just like this and scaling it in by hitting the control key and drag it in a little this is the mansard roof now i will create a triangle over this just like this and this time i will actually finish off this triangle erase the midpoint mid uh, edge rather and i will take this to the farthest endpoint from the back reverse this edge or face now the next part we have to do we have to offset this face to the inside it's like this now what i would do here after uh, offsetting this is i would actually extend this edge here and uh, this edge there and erase this edge and i will actually push it in a little and i will hit the control key from keyboard to copy this face to there and here if i just complete this face push it in i will end up having this uh, dutch cowl roof and let me just reverse this face again you can also make roofs like this one and to do that first let's just make a rectangle extrude it out a bit like this and then you have to just create the flat roof over it by offsetting it this face outside a little like this push it out and this part two raise these edges you don't need these edges now sorry so now what i would do next is i will actually copy this face again by the push tool and hitting the control key from keyboard it's like this it's a little bit now i will uh, i will actually scale it to the center to make this sort of a thing and push it out a little again and then i will finish off by making a triangle over this and again i will just click on this face and go to the follow me tool and then click on this rectangle or triangle to finish this roof off so if you like this video you can hit the like button below or you can subscribe to our channel and do not forget to post your questions in the comment section below